2011 Union football team finished the season with a 5-1 record in the Liberty League, earning the team a share of the league championship. Championships are a common occurrence throughout the proud history of the program. Since 85, Union has made 18 postseason appearances. The team played in four NCAA national semifinal games, reaching the NCAA national championship game twice. Union has won six ECAC championships while outscoring opponents 232 to 99 in those games. Over the past 31 years, Union has had one sub-500 season, ranking the team in the top echelon of Division III programs. The program has had 18 first-team All-Americans. The most recent is 2011 senior wideout Justin Gallo, the seventh Union player named All-American since 2001. Since 2006, the team has had two players named as finalists for the Gagliardi Trophy, which is the Division III Heisman Award. The Dutchmen have won the Lambert Cup Trophy, given to the best team in the East, and won the ECAC Team of the Year honors twice. The 2011 team had many All-Stars, including 16 players named Liberty League All-Stars. So let's take a look at the 2011 team that finished another championship season. The 2011 Union defense was led by first team Liberty League All-Star, senior linebacker Steve Modluski, on a defense that had seven players named to the League All-Star list. Running the ball against the Garnet Wave was frustrating for opponents in the 2011 season. Junior linebacker Noah Joseph, a two-time league defensive player of the week winner, led the team in solo and combined tackles this season. Combined with Modluski, they anchored a great linebacking core. The defensive line was tough all year, 
with the honorable mention lineman Bill Miley, who tied for the team lead with seven tackles for a loss. And he was also named a Liberty League Defensive Player of the Week. It's safe to say that opponents found it a tough road when they tried to run the ball against the Dutchman. When the opponents decide to give up on the run and go to the passing game, that doesn't work either. Second team defensive lineman Kevin Quillinen led the D-line, putting pressure on opposing quarterbacks all year. Defensive backfield had three players named to Liberty League honors, with Jafar Johnson and Jonathan Stitt named second team All-Stars. Senior John Campbell earned honorable mention to round out a tough and young defensive backfield. The coaching staff has been led by the winningest coach in Union College history, head coach John Audino. Coach Audino has a 141 and 60 record as the head coach at Union, while leading the team to four NCAA playoff appearances along with six ECAC championships. John played his college football at Notre Dame and his team won a national championship in 1975. John has a long history of coaching success that included coaching in the Ivy League prior to getting the job at Union. Coach Audino ranks 25th all-time entering this season and winning percentage in all of Division III football nationally. John has coached eight first-team All-Americans during his stay at Union and two Gagliardi Trophy finalists since 2006. His support staff reads like almost a who's who of staying at Union with a dedication to the program and a complete knowledge of football.
When we turn our attention to the offensive side of the ball, the offensive line was led by D3 football second team, all East team, and unanimous Liberty League selection, Dan Smith. Along with second team Liberty League all-star Elias Dumani, they helped anchor a line that allowed the running game to have a great year and, well, hey, a good time. The Union offense lost the number two running back in school history to graduation last year, but this year's backfield duties were shared among a group of talent behind the line. League honorable mention running back T.J. Frazzi led the team with over 600 yards rushing, three 100-plus yard games, including 149 against Eastern Power Springfield. Darnell Thomas had 330 yards. Liberty League second team all-star fullback Tim Hersey had 265, and tailback Dylan Shuck at over 232 yards to round out a backfield that totaled over 1,500 yards rushing in 2011. Well, not to mention the passing yards they contributed during the year. Everybody just have a good time And we gon' make you lose your mind Everybody just have a good time Party rock is in the house tonight Everybody just have a good time Every day I'm shuffling. Dutchman went to the air in 2011. They got a good feeling, but it wasn't fun for the opponents. The best passing offense in the Liberty League went to work like a surgeon. A long line of superstar wideouts have played at Union, but the unanimous first team league all-star, first team AFCA All-American, second team D3Football.com All-American, and D3 Football's All East Offensive Player of the Year, wide receiver Justin Gallo, blew up opponent secondaries. Boy, he was fun to watch. Justin grabbed 67 balls for over 1,200 yards and 16 touchdowns. Justin embarrassed the long string of defensive backs in 2011 because he simply could not be covered by any of them. Justin graduates breaking a number of school career records this year, finishing as the number two wideout in Union football history. <laughs> The Gallo name in the whiteout cores at Union is common. And Connor Gallo had 22 receptions this year for 315 yards, three touchdowns, and a 14-yard per catch average. Second team all-star tight end Eric Zavatsky averaged 17 yards per catch and finished number two in touchdown receptions this year at Union. You can't catch a ball without a quarterback. And the air attack was lifted by the arm of senior Liberty League all-star Drew Connolly. Drew completed 162 passes with only nine interceptions. He had a 57% completion percentage, 260 yards per game, and Drew passed for over 2,600 yards along with 26 touchdowns. 
He graduates as one of the top quarterbacks in school history. It's safe bet to say 2,000 offense could hurt you on the ground or through the air. And on special teams, first team league all-star place kicker Adam Henry finished 2011 ranked ninth in Division Three among place kickers with an 82% ranking. Punter Sasha Popich had five punts inside the 20 along with a 55-yard bomb. With the combination of a dominant defense, along with an unstoppable offense that includes a long list of underclassmen all-stars this year and players ready to fill in for the senior class. Combine that, and that makes the 2012 season look like yet another championship year. Where would you rather play? I'll tell you what the answer is. Union College. Please watch those 